Welcome to Curie Electronics. So in this uh, skill test preparation video series, today we are going to see some components to identify. At the component identification, I will make it as three part, uh, but uh, the components which are you are not familiar with, uh, I will show it in the part A. So this is uh, see uh, this is a box uh, with uh, some see here they have mentioned uh, mega ohm kilo ohm ohm okay so the same uh, same this is the this is called uh, we can get variable resistance from these boxes these are called uh, decade resistance box this is decade resistance box. See, there are they are going to be a uh, resistance unit ohm symbol so it is the uh, decade resistance box decade resistance box similarly you will have the capacitance box also so this is the decade capacitance box see what you see here this one these are switches rotary switches we will call it as a thumb wheel switches thumb wheel thumb wheel switches this is the decayed capacitance box we can get variable capacitor a different values of capacitance we can set using this uh, this uh, knobs and here you see nanofarad nanofarad microfarad this way it is mentioned so you can identify as it is a decade capacitance box see if you see any kind of pipe kind of this kind of uh, pipe structure then it is a wave gate okay it can have different shapes it can have uh, cylindrical square but normally it is a rectangular what you got uh, whatever is available so this is the wave gate we use it for the this wave gate we use it for the RF so any kind of uh, pipe structure if you see like uh, something like a hollow tube it is it is the wave gate uh, this is the uh, this is the antenna and this is the horn antenna horn antenna I hope you are familiar with the dish antenna whatever uh, dish antenna uses for uh, dish TV Airtel TV such kind of antenna and this one, uh, this is the EMI filter. Uh, see, usually, simply we will call it as line filter. Uh, so this is connected. See here, you can see uh, to two. Uh, it has got input and output. See these two are the lines, input, and this side the output load is there. So this is the output. So this is a uh, EMI filter or simply we will say it as line filter. So uh, it is a EMI filter. Usually it will have two input, two output and one body, body to earth. EMI filter. Okay, EMI filter. So you should be able to identify an EMI filter. And these are uh, some, uh, these are the uh, wire uh, the wire strippers okay uh, normal wire stripper you might have seen uh, but this is uh, this is called the mechanical wire stripper mechanical wire stripper wire stripper this is the thermal these two are the thermal wire stripper thermal wire stripper thermal wire stripper uh, this is also a wire stripper wire stripper the common ones you might have seen and that I will cover later 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 not in this video and another video I'll cover it so you can uh, now you can identify what's a mechanical wire stripper thermal wire stripper uh, these are the EST wrist, uh, wrist strap EST wrist strap Be before uh, working with the uh, EST sensitive device you have to ground your body to 
earth so for that we use this est wrist trap wrist strap est wrist strap uh, this is uh, this is the wire gauge uh, we usually use stand a swg standard wire gauge or american wire gauge i i if you have if you have i think it's better you understand how to use a wire gauge sometimes they can give you some of the wires and ask you to find the uh, gauge of the wire then uh, they will provide you this uh, this uh, device also this wire gauge okay this is the wire gauge wire gauge measure measuring device standard wire gauge and this these are the rectifier block see how do you identify a rectifier block it will have two connections for ac okay two connections for ac that is line and neutral and then there will be one uh, plus plus terminal and the negative terminal from that you can identify it's a rectifier block rectifier it's a rectifier but we can it's a rectifier bridge rectifier also we can say it um, yeah you can say it is a bridge rectifier see here this is a uh, dc dc converter dc dc converter dc dc converter if you take this uh, this is the v input and v out we have negative v out plus v out and common so it is a isolated it looks like a isolated dc dc converter but you see input is dc output also dc then it's a dc dc converter here also same here plus sign is there minus sign is there and this is the input this is the input and output is here this is the output so dc input and dc output so it is a dc dc converter and this is the computer smbs so it's a ac to uh, dc converter uh, smbs will switch mode power supply so usually ac is the input and uh, dc is the output uh, this is the uh, this is called uh, see sometimes when you connect the rf we have to terminate so for that we use 50 ohm terminator terminator so whatever is there this is the bnc type terminator 50 ohm this is the sma type sma sub miniature assembly uh, so sma type connector uh, SMA, SMA type 50 ohm terminator actually here this SMA type connector all way look similar way this is the BNC connector okay so we, uh, we will connect uh, uh, this connector to the oscillos most of the oscilloscope inputs are uh, BNC type so this is a BNC connector <coughs> and uh, uh, see this is, a, this is a kind of fan okay these are some kind of fan some material will also will be there and these all are uh, all are uh, used for soldering these are the fume extractor fume extractor when you solder a smoke will be generated to uh, suck that uh, smoke and uh, to throw it outside we use this fume extractor uh, these are the uh, stuses uh, which can read capacitance, inductance, resistance, all that. So usually uh, in a simple way we will call it as smart tuser. Smart tuser. So that it can read resistance, inductance, capacitance, all. Okay. Uh, these are the DB, DB connector. We will call DB. Uh, we call this DB9, DB15, uh, DB15, uh, then DB uh db25 db50 uh, these are uh, db type connectors and if pins are there those are known as the plug and uh, if if like this holes are there then it is the socket and just like our home uh, a socket and the plug 
Now these are the uh, mini uh, the solar panel okay solar panel solar panel a simple panel give it to you we should be able to identify that it's a solar panel these are solar panels uh, this is this are the hard hard disk of a hard disk of a of a computer hard disk motherboard also please check it how to identify the computer motherboard hard disk see these are all rc card disk see this also a hard disk this is a portable hard disk okay it's a portable hard disk solid state portable hard disk that is a ssd so when you observe a hard disk there will be they will mention some gb in the storage or terabyte gigabyte or terabyte from that you should identify it's a hard disk and then this connector you see our mouse and all uh, comes with this kind of connector or usb connector usb connector you are familiar with but this connector is called the ps2 connector ps2 connector okay ps2 connector <coughs> ps2 connector um, now most of the tvs or laptops whatever you buy there is this 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 kind of one port will be there this is the hdmi port okay so these are HDMI port. No, not this. These two are the. This is the HDMI port. You see that shape? How the HDMI port look? So you should. That is the. This is the HDMI cable. So you should be able to identify this. See one more port is here. The 15 pin connector. This is the VGA port. VGA connector for the uh, display display or monitor we use display to dis connect display or monitor that is the vga port this the hdmi also is for the usually used for the video connection <coughs> then see here and the in the the hard disk usually have now new version hard disks are sata type sata see these slots will be there on the motherboard okay and this cable if you see this is a SATA cable okay SATA SATA cable these are the SATA slots to connect the hard disk so you should be able to identify a SATA cable and SATA slot this are the RJ RJ 45 RJ 45 connector and the socket so it has got 8 pin okay 8 pins are this here it is a 8 pin connector you should be able to identify RJ45. Now this, this is the VGA. I told you 15 pin connector. This is the VGA connector and uh, VGA VGA and uh, used for the uh, video connectivity. Uh, these are the uh, USB uh, USB connectors, different types. USB A type, B type, USB mini, USB micro, USB C, all are there. So I hope uh, this much idea. Uh, you, uh, these are the things you should be little familiar uh, how to uh, aware of these things. Okay, that's why I'm not going through the normal components. I'm just taking you here. See, these are the uh, routers, Wi-Fi router, Wi-Fi router. It can be without a um, antenna also. Then it's a, a router, just a router, not a wireless router. Okay, not Wi-Fi. <coughs> so I think uh, part A, um, only going so many components. In part B and part C, I'll put more detailed. But this, uh, these are the uh, ones you may not be familiar with. Okay, uh, thanks for watching. I'll try to upload the next video uh, in a couple of days thank you